Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to be back with you um, quite some time. Uh, thank you for all your calls and um, your love. God bless you in Jesus' name. Um, today, we we'll still want to pray. But before we pray, we want to look at the Word of God. And today, we want to pray about the life of a young man called Joseph in the Bible. And um, his experience, we can actually identify with it. Let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 37. And I read from verse 18. The Bible said, Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they said to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. And we shall say, Some white beast has devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dream. Hallelujah. Uh, there are quite a lot of prayer points we can take from this. You know, Joseph was passionate about his brothers. And uh, his father sent him to go and look after them, just to know their welfare. But these same people he was going to see their welfare had another plan. You know, there was this jealous that, you know, that was in them. They hated him with passion. And because they hated him, when they saw him coming, they, they conspire against him. I don't know what you are going through with the people you call your brother, your sister, the people you think you love them, but there is this conspiracy about his life and he didn't know. And the conspiracy was just simply to kill him and to make sure that his dream do not come to pass. If you read the earlier verses, the Bible emphasized the fact that they hated him. And why was he hated? Because of his dream. Your dream can attract, you know, this kind of hatred from other people against your life. But when you look at it in this place, there are a few things we need to pray there. Number one is to deal with conspiracy. There are conspiracy everywhere, at work, in the family, in the neighborhood. There are conspiracy everywhere. They saw him afar off. He was not here with them. He didn't hear what they were talking about. So when there is conspiracy against you, you will not be there. You will not be caught to such a meeting where they are discussing how to harm you, how to finish you up. He was not there and they conspired against him. So number one, it was conspiracy. Number two, it was a concluded work. They have perfected the strategy. How they will kill him, what they are going to tell other people. You know, many a time when people slump and die, some people will say, oh, it's because they work too hard. You know, we told him he should be resting. You know, if something happens, people will always say something. So they had an explanation they are going to give. And yet they were the brain behind this evil. So any conspiracy against your life, the Lord will scatter it today in Jesus' name. And um, where they are discussing you and you are not there, the Lord of heaven, he will defend you. Because he's the only one who can wash your back. Can you believe it that his brothers were the one discussing how to harm him? And yet it was after their welfare. You may be after their welfare that do not stop them. But let me show you something. Apart from the fact that there was this conspiracy, there was this completed and concluded work of how to destroy him, how to assassinate him. Now, the main purpose why they were doing it is what you see in verse 20. And they said to themselves, they say, we shall see what will become of his dream. In life, there is a lot of we shall see. There are people they will say we shall see. He has traveled, you know, somewhere. We shall see what he will bring. We shall see what his children will become. We shall see how he will not be sacked, you know, on, on his job, maybe at work, and um, they conspire against you. You are coming, you get there, they say, morning, morning, mind a cup of tea, but already they have conspired and say, we shall see how he will not be sacked in this job. We shall see what will become of him. And when they were saying this, that we shall see, he was not aware, he was not there, and nobody would tell him that that was what they are saying. Maybe you are struggling and there are people who are saying, we shall see what will become of you. The Lord who defended, you know, Joseph will defend you. And they, they eventually saw it. They saw how God 
promoted him from just a slave to become the prime minister. So if they are saying to you, we shall see, by the grace of God, they will see how God will be gracious to you. They will see how God will turn your story around. Maybe you are struggling and then we shall see what you will bring out of it. Maybe you are even building, you are even, you know, doing work. And they are telling you, they are saying behind you, we shall see how he will enjoy the fruit of his labor. I'm saying to you by the word of the Lord, you will enjoy the fruit of your labor in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe they, it's your children, they are saying that about, we shall see what will become of his children, you know. But God will defend you. If they are saying this to you, we shall see. In whatever form they are saying it to you, maybe you are going into marriage and say, we shall see whether his own will stand or not. The Lord will make them to see the goodness of the Lord in your life, in the land of the living, in Jesus' name. Yeah. But you see, one thing I want you to do is this, and what the Lord will want you to do. In all this, Joseph was faithful to God. He stayed put with God. He did not compromise. And God defended him. So if you are in this kind of situation, you are struggling, you are doing your best, and they say, we shall see. There is a conspiracy against you. There is a, you know, evil expectation. Because this is, was an evil expectation. They didn't expect he would be a man to anything in life. And that was about his dream. Don't think is everyone who believe in your dream. They didn't believe in his dream. Even when they believe in his dream, they, they had this evil expectation that it will not come to pass. Every evil expectation over your life, the Lord will disappoint their purpose in Jesus' name. Uh, brethren, this is where we want to pray. And I want you to pray with passion as we pray today. You see, God that turned the story of Joseph around, he will turn your story around for good in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to join me as we begin to pray. I want you to pray and say, Father, every conspiracy against my life, let it be destroyed. Let it be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to speak to the Lord and say, Father, every conspiracy against my family, every conspiracy against me at work, every conspiracy in the family, every conspiracy in the neighborhood, Lord, let it be scattered scattered in the mighty name of Jesus begin to speak to the Lord they conspired against him ah you don't know those who conspire against you you are looking for their welfare but they are conspiring against you don't be discouraged just pray and talk to the Lord father every evil conspiracy against my life let it be destroyed let it be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus I want you to begin to pray that every concluded works of darkness concerning your life be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. They have concluded it. They want to assassinate his, you know, his life. I want you to pray every power that won't go to cut my life short. Father, I break their power in the name of Jesus. That God will arise on your behalf and disappoint their purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to begin to cancel every evil expectation. Say, Father, every evil expectation over my life, Lord, I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. Every evil expectation over my children, they are saying, we will see what will become of his children. I want you to pray, Lord, every evil expectation over my children, Lord, I destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, every evil expectation over my marriage, Lord, I, I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe about your journey, you are not in your father's land and you have, you know, you, you looking for green pastures and they are telling you, we shall see what you will bring. I want you to begin to pray. Oh God, disappoint every evil expectation in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to call upon God that God will transform your situation right now in the name of Jesus. Pray that, Lord, let my dream come to pass. Let my dream come to fruition. Let my dream come to fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you know, they, they said, we shall see. And God turned it to a testimony, even for Joseph. They saw what God can do. God promoted him. Now begin to talk to the Lord. And say, Father, every evil expectation in concerning your life, concerning your journey, concerning your children, concerning your finance, concerning your labor, concerning every areas of your life. Say, Lord, every evil expectation 
Lord, I cancel you by the blood of the everlasting covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Eventually they sold him. The God still redeemed him. I want you to begin to pray. Lord, we are ever have been sold. Lord, redeem me back by the blood of Jesus. We are ever have been sold. Oh God, redeem me. He was put into, 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 into a pit, you know, a dry pit without water. I want you to pray that God will rescue you. Whatever situation you are find yourself, and they are saying we shall see how you will escape. Maybe you are sick, and they, will, and they are saying already, we will see how it's going to come out of that sickness. I want you to pray right now that God will heal you. The Bible says by the stripe of Jesus we are healed. I want you to pray and say, Father, heal me right now. No, Lord, heal me now in the mighty name of Jesus. God wants to heal you both spiritually, financially, and every areas of your life. God is a good God. I want you to call upon him in prayer and say, Father, heal me spirit, soul, and body in the mighty name of Jesus. Redeem me, Lord, wherever I've been sold. In the mighty name of Jesus, they said, We shall see what will become of him. We shall see what will become of his dream. Maybe they are saying, You are laboring, and they are saying to you, We shall see what you will have of his labor. I want you to pray that God will disappoint that evil expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that the Lord will turn your situation around today to glorify his name. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I want you to pray before we finish that God will grant you the grace to stand for him. You know, Joseph stood for God. He, 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 he didn't compromise. I want you to pray that God help me to stand. Help me not to compromise my faith. Help me to stand for you in righteousness and in the fear of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help me to stand for you in the name of Jesus. Now begin to talk to God, whatever your need might be. I want you to speak to the Lord right now. You know, we are praying that God will disappoint every plan of the enemy, that God, you know, will frustrate every conspiracy against you, that God will disappoint every evil expectation, that every concluded works of darkness concerning you will not come to pass. Now make your personal request unto God. The Bible says we should not be worried about anything, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we should make our request known to God. I want you to make your request known to God and say, Father, this is my heart desire. This is my need. Father, meet me today at my point of need, and the Lord will do it for you. Thank you, precious Father. We give you praise, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, thank you for every year of the world today, and for everyone who have joined me in this short time of prayer. Father, I pray, let every evil expectation concerning them be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever the enemy has concluded about you, today we, we speak that it shall come to naught in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray today in the mighty name of Jesus that your dream will come to fruition. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever you are going through now, it will turn to you for testimony that they will see the goodness of the Lord in your life in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever you have asked of the Lord today, by mercy receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace to stand for God and to do exploit for Him. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Uh, God bless you for tuning in to pray with me this short hour. Um, I want you to listen to this few announcements that is really going to help you. We have 24-7 online Christian radio and you can log in to www.kvbradio.org. You will see the um, address um, as you watch this video. And then we are also involved in mission and if you want to know about our mission ministry, you can you know log into klac lifeimpact.org klac lifeimpact.org and um, you can call and you know if you're a professional or non-professional and you are interested in serving god in any way you can get in touch you know a nurse a doctor whatever your profession is you know you can volunteer to work for god 
you know, as we go forth to preach the gospel. The Lord bless you. Um, I want you to know that my new book will be coming out very soon, and it's all about prayer, the practice of prayer. Um, it's going to really be a blessing to you. Just watch out for it. It will be released very soon. Um, you will know when it comes out. God bless you, and do have a great time.